So here's how I do complicated wires. Let me just switch this. Boom. All right. Manual. So yeah, this is on manual page 13 if you want to follow along. I think it's 13. I don't know. I just kind of screenshotted this. Let's see. What's up, Game Ace? Yeah, okay, 13. Yeah, so if you flip to page 13, I'll kind of explain how I do complicated wires. So if you've actually never seen complicated wires, I will show you. Uh, here's what complicated wires looks like in game. Uh, once it loads. Okay, so this bomb is one of the exotic bombs, and it's basically made entirely of complicated wires. So we'll take a look at this module in the top left-hand corner here. You can see there's a bunch of wires. Each wire has one of four attributes. It has a whether it has a red color on it on the wire, whether it has a blue color on the wire, whether it has a light on above the wire, and whether it has a star drawn below the wire. Um, one thing to note is that See how some uh, these three wires, two of them are kind of candy cane striped and then one of them solid red? For purposes of the Venn diagram, they're exactly the same. Uh, they make no difference. As long as they have red color, they are fine. Um, so you can see I've already kind of started doing some of these because I've started to memorize this, but I'm not 100% confident on this. So, excuse me, so anyway, you have to go through each wire it doesn't matter which order you do them in. You have to go through each wire, and each wire should either be cut or not cut, depending on the those four attributes we talked about, as well as whether the bomb's ends, uh, the bomb serial number ends in a uh, even number, depending on how many batteries are on the bomb, and depending on if there is a parallel port, which there is not on this bomb. So that's kind of the gist of wires. So let's get back to this Venn diagram. So you can see down here in this. And I don't, I wish I had a bigger, um, <laughs> yeah, I know Syndra one, uh, yeah, people just go, it's, it's white candy canes, <laughs> like, I, I know, it, it doesn't matter, um, so, you, oh, shoot, so if you look down here, you can see the little key, and you see there's four different kinds of lines, the dot dash line is where it has red coloring, the solid line is where it has blue, the small dots is has a star, and the thick dots is LED is on. And you gotta find where which letter falls into the right bit of the Venn diagram. And then based on what the letter is, you can either cut the wire, don't cut the wire, cut the wire based on the serial number, cut the wire based on the parallel port, or cut the wire based on the bombs. How's it going, Bomb Techie? Yeah, uh, so the important thing is to make sure that the overlapping ovals are only the things that you want and nothing that you don't want. Correct. Uh, Watching a uh, giant bomb just did a quick look of this, and they uh, they would take, for example, the entire LED circle and then read most of the uh, letters in there and try to figure out whether or not to cut or not. Yes, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, duplicity. I will I will ask you about that. And yes, I will have another thing to say about your comment about switching systems. So anyway. Uh, so let's take the red blue star wire for example. So what you want to do is you look at the red Venn diagram. I'm choosing a neutral color, uh, like yellow here. So this is the yellow. Uh, this is the red Venn diagram. And I said what red blue star. So this is the blue diagram, right here. And then the star Venn diagram. Let me add a new layer. Change the opacity real quick. And then the star diagram is this one right here. So red blue star is where all three of them overlap and I wish the transparency colors I picked a little better <laughs> which I didn't. So red over here, blue over here and then star is this P. This is where all three overlap. They also overlap here but so does LED so you don't want that. This is the one with LED off. So you have to do this for every wire. How do you do this so quickly? And here's my big secret. Let me just, whoops, let me just erase everything real quick. Forgive me. Oh, I'm not very undo. good with any undo, 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 undo. Undo, undo. I'm not very good with any sort of like paint editing thing. I have no design skills at all. So this is really hard. So the first thing I do is I always look at, so, uh, oh, let's see, what an indie freak link. Yeah, so you can modify the Venn diagram. I don't like to do that. I feel like using anything other than the officially sanctioned manual is cheating. That's just me. <laughs> you do what you purist. want to do. I'm a purist, purist, I suppose. 
So the first thing I care about is the color, because that really starts to narrow down the Venn diagram. And there's four possibilities on color. There's red and blue together, there's red only, there's blue only, and then there's no color at all. So we'll save Ooh. no color at all for a second. Duplicity's uh, method is pretty nice. What is duplicity? Uh, why, so he, white? He oh, he nice. the colors into pairs, so the colors are uh, white, red, blue, or purple. <laughs> but you don't really need white, I guess. Actually, I guess so duplicity, white. you're going to love what I am about to say, because your system will go super well with the way I do these things. So the first thing I do is, is color. So let's say it's red. And of course, uh, let's see, pick a layer. This is the red. Whoop helps if I'm not on a racer. This is the red Venn diagram right here, or the red section of the Venn diagram. But what we don't want is, if it's red only, we don't want this stuff in the middle. So if you kind of mentally erase it, and when you're doing this for the first few times, like I did this for the first few times, I actually physically covered up with my hands on the page. <laughs> Everything to, else. To, like, <laughs> you saw me when we were at PAX, I right? Know. I started like covering things up to kind of focus. So. You're, if it's uh, red only, you know it's somewhere in these shaded areas. And what did I say? Red, blue, or what did I say? Just red star? Or red whatever? I don't care. Uh, so now it's way easier of a Venn diagram to master because now you only have to care about star and light. So if it's a light only, you know it's this B over here. If it's a star only, you know it's this C over here. And if it's both, you know it's this B. And of course, if there's neither light nor star, it's this S up here. Um, so the way I do it is focus on the colors first because that way you break it down to a maximum of four areas and then the Venn diagram is way easier to see. <laughs> what? Look what Bitstone just linked. <laughs> oh easy my god. Yeah, so, two. <laughs> so I, did you read Bitstone's AMA? Uh, no, I didn't. Because apparently the original design for Venn diagram wires was a seven, uh, seven bit Venn diagram. So that is oh. what a see it. That is, so what he linked is what a 7-bit Venn diagram looks like instead of 4. I think Ben Kane was the one who really wanted it and he had to be talked out of it. So, That's okay, so back to wires. So if you basically, if you have red only, you are dealing with just this section. Oh god, I can't draw. Why can't I draw? Oh, because I'm on the erase tool. So if you're on red only, you're dealing with this section of the Venn diagram. I'm just going to draw this all and then erase what I don't care about. If you're on blue only, it works the exact same way. So the blue section of the Venn diagram looks like this. But of course, if you're blue only, you don't care about this stuff in the middle. And now you can kind of easily see, if you kind of visualize the whole thing, this is the section with the LED. This is the section with the star. So this is neither LED only, star only, and both. Let's, and then finally, the easiest one I feel is if you have red and blue together, because then you're in the section in the middle. You're in these four right here. And that is actually super easy to see because the one on the top is nothing, the one in the very bottom center is both, and then left for star, right for LED. Hey, thank you, Booty Sweat. Thanks for coming back. So I hope that makes some sense on how I do Venn diagrams. Um, you can memorize it. Like I've already started, like just by playing this game so much, you start to remember some things. Like red by itself is always cut. Red star, or sorry, red by itself is not. Just kidding. Star no, by, by itself, itself is, uh, is even. Cut if it the serial, uh, red and blue if the serial number is even. Red star is always cut. Yeah. So red star is. Cut. Yeah. Sorry, I'm reading. It's like hard <laughs> to read the chat and, and keep up. So I hope if anyone has any questions, ask me. But this is kind of my explanation of how I do complicated wires, and it takes a, a bit of for, at first. But you practice, like like I said, like physically cover up, you know, the parts that you don't care about, and really focus on the parts you do. Focus on color first, and then symbol, uh, the star symbol, and then the LED, and you'll get faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And that way, you don't have to make your own manual. You don't have to memorize anything anything you can just read the venn diagram like a pro um i don't know anyone i like, I like lobsidation's um labels ninja wires shuriken wires and bloody shuriken i think shuriken i like so Kay kaylee uh calls the red star wire the soviet wire because it's red star <laughs> i guess that's easy to remember but yeah that's a good yeah you can come up with mnemonics and stuff but of course when they inevitably change the manual not gonna help you <laughs> 